so that's the 5000 ultra and as you guys can hear right now that's no noise around and just the power supply running and that's the noise from the power supply here they only has that little fan over there that's quite noisy what I gonna do a little bit later I gonna be taking out the whole power supply disassembling I gonna take out that little fan right here that's causing the noise that's the connection for the fan that goes right here and I have a few on my basement uh, those uh, 110 millimeters I think uh, those are uh, low noise fans and I'm gonna be installing them right here on those holes so instead that little noise fan that just blowing are out and the air circulates from here from down here to the whole machine and goes here to that little fan I'm gonna install the big fan right here sealed with uh, hermetic tape around and it, they will be almost noiseless so get you have a bigger uh, air intake so they and take the whole air from the system goes to the power supply and you'll be blowing out there in the same way and that's the next mode that I'm gonna do on that little ultra um, like yesterday I've already done a little mode to run a SATA drive on it through the ID and goes to a chip uh, three dollars ID to see that you can get on eBay and uh, just let me just shut down the unit and that's everything right here the only thing that I done is to solder that uh, connector straight on the adapter and usually on those connectors and the way how they are wired up originally the yellow wire goes right here and the red goes right here because it'll be like the 12 volts is on that side and the 5 is on that side but on the emus they put as you guys can see they inverted the voltage so I have to change the wiring position that's the most important thing that you guys have to do it if you guys don't want to fry up your adapter or maybe your main board is to swap it the position of the the 12 and the 5 volts so like you guys can see here right now I was thinking to put a SSID I have one or two down my basement, uh, 120 gig, but I'm gonna be using them for something else, and I have dozens and dozens of those uh, SATA drives, so for now I just put one there, <clears throat> and to hold them on place and avoid uh, vibration, I use a double side tape, like that little piece right here and I attach it straight on the chassis for now I can make a little uh, metal adapter and start from here and install the drive on it with uh, rubber screws but for now just for testing I did I did like this and uh, let me just get down as you guys can see it
see the big noise of the fan um, just a little thing right here hold on let they start it right master f1 f6 and f4 i have the whole options that i have right now and i could install the 4.70 os on it and if i hit this I can see my hard drive right there and if I hit F6 for info as you guys can see it is a 106 gigabytes hard drive I formatted has a FET32 and I have 128 megabytes available right now so that's all that's my little ultra they are like brand new it's still the plastic around the displays internally is really really clean as I can see you guys can see it is a really nice machine the back here is completely clean so I gonna just finish those modes a little bit late and that will be one more baby to be added 